Dayton at Davidson again. Here we have a, a timeout. The ball was knocked away. Ball's on the floor. Official's in good position. And as the play develops here, the blue team gains control of the ball eventually. And they're tugging, tugging at it. And he gets it. And once he pulls it away and has it, you can look at it for yourself and see that he's holding the ball. And he decides to just keep rolling. Officials are looking at the play. Got a good position here. He's in there hustling. Getting a good look. Getting a good look from this side. And he's trying to call for timeout, but he, you can't hold the ball unless you're holding it in your hands. So he just goes on over and rolls over again to get away from somebody else. His teammate's trying to get in there and take it away from him. So he's holding the ball, and he's going to roll over again. The rules do not allow such. That's a traveling violation. And once he gets all the way over there, now he's on his belly, started on his stomach, went to his back, now he's on his stomach again, and he's yelling at the official for timeout. Now, so they don't give him, they don't penalize the traveling violation. They did a good job, in my view, that without having a foul, I didn't, there was no foul there. But what I want you to hear is the lack of composure and the selling the official feels like he has to do. People who feel like they have to sell rulings are, are officiating with fear. I'm going to put it back in regular speed now. And just notice the lack of dignity and professionalism uh, by the official down here who grants the timeout. Uh, I mean, my goodness, it's like he's never seen a timeout before. Rips it away, shot a call for a timeout. And the officials recognize it and give them the timeout. So had he been directing traffic, there would have been a few accidents on that play. Because he just took off running and, and blowing the whistle nine or ten times. It was so fast I could hardly count them. You can replay it yourself. But anyway, when it comes to granting a timeout, just put your feet together, stand still. And sound the whistle, one loud blast, and hold your hand up. And stand there. Let people see some composure in what you're doing. That's the proper way of granting a timeout. Wouldn't have even had to do that. They wouldn't have had to. Uh, wouldn't have had the timeout had he had they ruled the traveling violation. 